Hey guys, welcome to Tentpire. Today I'm going to review the Amicool external DVD drive. The DVD drive by Amicool is currently the second best selling external optical drive on Amazon. It has received a ton of positive ratings, most of which praise it for the unique cable that has both USB-A and USB-C connectors. And I agree, that is a pretty unique feature. It's also one of the main reasons why I bought it as well. So let's see if it actually deserves all those positive reviews. So Amicool is pretty much a no-name brand, and you can already tell that from the packaging. It has a small cardboard package wrapped around the device. You will also find a thin layer of bubble wrap as well. It's pretty much the opposite of how Asus packed the Sendrive U9M. That said, I received the Amicool drive without any damages, so I guess that it does the job. Now the first thing that I noticed is that it's much thicker than most DVD drives. It's also much heavier as it weighs around 300 grams. Now it's not to the point where you can't take it with you in a laptop bag, but it's still something worth mentioning. The overall design though is pretty nice. It's made out of plain plastic, but I really like how they have made it nicer by adding a honeycomb pattern to the top surface. There is also a white stripe on the sides, which is also textured. When you finally look at the bottom, you will understand why this drive is that much thicker than its competitors. It has an attached USB cable and they have even managed to create a slot for it. That's a really convenient feature if you plan on taking it with you, and it works as well. The only downside is that it limits the length of the cable, so you will have to keep it near your computer. Oh, and there are also four rubber pads that keep the drive steady on the surface as well. There are two ways for you to connect this external drive. As you can see from the cable, it has both a USB-A and a USB-C connector. The USB-A has to be connected to a USB 3.0 port for it to fully function. And yes, you only need one port for it to work, which is what I wish that ASUS had done to the send drives. And if you have a USB-C port on your computer, then you can use that as well. Which makes this Amicool external DVD drive extremely versatile. Once you have connected the drive, you're good to go. It doesn't require for you to install any drivers or programs. It also works with both Windows and Mac operating systems. And both of them recognize it immediately. Next up, all you have to do is press the eject button on the front. Place your disc onto the tray and close it. Exactly the same as you would do with any other DVD drive. And in terms of performance, it's just as fast as any other optical DVD drive as well. As in it has a maximum read and write speed of 8 times for DVDs. Here I'm going to transfer a 1.3 GB file to a normal DVD. It takes around 4.5 minutes to fully complete the transfer. I have also kept the microphone near the drive, so that you can hear how much noise it actually makes.
Overall, I really like the Amicool DVD drive. It's actually a well put together device despite the unknown brand name. I also really like the two connector cable solution. More brands should definitely copy this style in my opinion. Maybe just find a way to make it thinner and not as heavy. But despite that, you can still take it with you so it's not that bad at all. That's going to be it from me. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe.